What's going on today dudes, in this edition of Fighters in 5, I'll be covering Galaxy Fight. Now if you like this game, it just came out on the PlayStation Store for only 10 bucks, so check it out if you like what you see. <clears throat> so this game is called Galaxy Fight, made by Neo Geo, so it's an SNK game. So you know what to expect from the bosses and input reading. Anyway, nonetheless it's actually one of the best SNK games that I've ever played. I wish it got more time in the spotlight, and I'm glad it's out on PS4, as it's actually very impressive for an old 2D fighter. Now as you can see, the character roster is full of sci-fi heroes which are all very unique. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of any of them to be honest, but Rumi would have to be the most popular character to come out of this series, she's second from the right. Each character looks very unique and fits in with the overall cyber feel, except for Kazuma, who I actually use, who is pretty generic and just your usual ninja type. Nonetheless, you guys know I like ninjas, so I don't... I mean, look at this character. She looks like she's straight out of an 80s Schwarzenegger film. I'm not saying I don't like that, though. Um, Dante is the most original and interesting character to me. He's some sort of alien monster and has a cool fighting style, but I don't really like using slow grapplers, so I left him. The only other character that stood out to me was Alvin, in particular his homeworld. Basically I got the gist that his homeworld had been destroyed and he fights anyone in order to keep it from being destroyed further. He wields some sort of blue power as well, which I would like to know more about if they ever continue this game. The stages were the most impressive thing to me, with heaps of detail and a lot going on. The stages feel very atmospheric and I feel like they help portray the 90s cyber feel very well. Also, as the stages go on, I feel like they get better, so so make sure to pay attention to the background when you play. On to the actual gameplay, just standard 3 button attack system, low, medium, heavy, only this game has a torn button for some reason, I actually never found it before and it looks like no one online has either, unlike in Art of Fighting where it charges a meter. Combos feel nice to pull off and there's a good neutral game to be had with your opponent, when they aren't input reading you of course. This game also includes a feature to do a running attack, which makes for some fun gameplay as if you run too far, you end up crossing up your opponent. I read in the FAQ that each character has a desperation move, but I never came across it nor could I perform it on my own. Now I know mid ladder mini boss fights are not that unique, but this game's choices are. The first mid boss you will come across is a punching bag who literally just headbutts you, and the second is a small rabbit who can transform into the character you are using. So that was pretty cool and unique that they can turn into you, but yeah, both I must admit they are fun to verse. The aspect that I feel makes this game very immersive is that you travel among the in game solar system to defeat the opponents inhabiting each of those planets. It made me feel like I was on an episode of DBZ. The final aspect I want to mention about the game is that it has no walls in any stage, so you can't corner your opponent with just walls. Now, finally, onto the final boss. This guy is cheap as hell. He has two projectiles, one comes out before you can even finish the inset for your own, and the other one literally stuns you on impact. He instantly DPs you if you ever jump and if you press too many buttons. His attacks do more than yours, and he pretty much can move around the screen instantly. The cheapest thing he has, I would say, is his instant cross-up attack. He'll jump from one end of the screen, and it will always be a cross-up, something you can use to your advantage if you're having trouble. And yeah, I had trouble. It took me around 20 shots to beat this guy, and I had to take a break, because he was pissing me off that much. Anyway, all in all, if you guys like 2D fighters, and you're looking for one you haven't played before, Check this one out, man. It's, it's pretty awesome.